Hey everyone, this is Victor from Bourbon A Motor Cars. Today I'm gonna to be looking at a 2021 Mazda 3 with the preferred package. Now this one has the jet black mica paint on the exterior as well as black leatherette seats on the in interior. Well, this one comes standard with a sunroof. As far as this package goes, there's some black painted accents that go throughout the vehicle on the outside that we'll go over, as well as heated front seats, power seats with memory, some of your standard features that come with Mazda that's just great as far as safety. You're gonna be looking at we have adaptive cruise control, we have lane departure systems, uh, especially like a smart brake support in, ter in terms of emergencies. Uh, blind spot monitoring system, rear cross traffic alerts for anything behind you. We have CarPlay that comes standard Android Auto. One of the really cool things is Mazda's connected services. It goes to an app, it gives you things like remote start. Uh, really, really neat features in terms of having some of those luxury features that you would normally find on BMW and Mercedes. This one has 18 inch alloy wheels, which is really nice. And then what comes standard with Mazda 3s, you have LED daytime running lamps as well as LED headlamps and tail lights too. So in terms of just having a no nicer, clearer view, and that's again, t tying into that safety. So we'll go over the exterior and the interior. I'll show you the best I can with the rainy weather. Try to get a look at that paint with the metal flake in it. It's really, really nice. We're gonna go over the inside. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like to start one up and a little bit in the detail as far as the uh, entertainment system as well as your dashboard. So we'll get right into it. If you need anything, you can always reach me here on YouTube or any of my social media platforms. I'm always gonna be located under BMC Victor. So it's Bourbon A Motor Cars Victor. So at BMC Victor. So if you need anything, reach out here, comment below, like, subscribe, all the good things as far as social media goes to keep the channel growing and we can reach more and more people and give them better, better updates and understanding about cars we sell. So here we go. So here's the 2021 Mazda 3. Uh, we're gonna go over the exterior of this car and give you a really good look of what it looks like. Starting off, as you can see those LED tail lamps. And we're gonna go through the car. We'll take a look at the interior, the exterior. Now this one did have the preferred package to so get the 18 inch alloy wheels. We're gonna go around the car. You'll see those painted power folding mirrors with indicators on the sides. I'll give you a really close look to that. Just a little underneath there. That'll give you your turn signals front of the vehicle give you a really good look at that grill now the re redesign on these are great i really love how that looks and there's your led headlamps as best we can it is a bit rainy and foggy out so i apologize you can't really see the paint as much as i'd like to show you but the mazda 3 is just an overall really good looking car it's not too small um very very close to that mid-size range in terms of size and comfort too. So some of the safety features go right on the windshield. So you'll see that triangle there. That's actually going to be the radar as far as your adaptive cruise control, brake assist. Um, there's actually a sensor in that Mazda logo as far as your safety goes. And this one's going to have a dual exhaust on the back here. So we'll go around. We'll take a look at uh, all the other features. Let's pop the trunk. There's plenty of room. Uh, we still have the mats and everything wrapped up. It's a new vehicle, which comfortably you'll be able to get a few different things in there. Groceries, backpacks. It's actually pretty good space for a, for a smaller sedan. As I said, it has the black leather red interior. Now that seat is a little further back. When I got in, I was recording the beginning part of this video. But as you look inside, you'll see that nicer, sportier look. Now we're gonna go ahead and get in the vehicle and go over all the interior features, give you a really, really good idea what this looks like. So here's the view from the driver. So this is gonna be what you see as you drive your new Mazda. Now we're gonna have controls all around the driver to make things easily accessible for all of your features and controls. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start it up so you get a look at what that looks like. You'll just put your foot on the brake. On the right here, we have a start stop button. You'll see the digital dashboard pop up in the middle and it goes right to your speedometer. And then you have your infotainment center up here on the right. Now everything's built around making your driving experience more comfortable and fun. A uh, big part about Mazda is they center the driving experience around the driver. So what we'll go over is we're gonna go over some of the really neat features as far as your safety, as far as your entertainment to make things easy to understand. You can kind of know without driving one what a Mazda feels like. So here, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit and we're gonna go over, first and foremost, your steering wheel. So a nice sporty leather wrapped steering wheel. You're gonna have media control on the left here with phone options. And then your safety as far as your 
adaptive cruise control on the right. As we go over here, you'll have the screen for the infotainment system. Now Mazda doesn't do touch screens, uh, mainly I would assume because of the reliability factor. So down here, climate controls, heated seats are right in the middle for you, right next to the start stop. You have some cup holders down here as well as your controls. So one thing to know is everything wants to be within reach. So you'll have volume here on the right, favorites. This control knob here is gonna control the infotainment center. We'll go over that in a second. You have auto hold, electronic parking brake, and then you'll have hotkeys around the edge. So you have home, back, navigation, and music. The SD card can add navigation to the vehicle. When you go to navigation without that, it'll give you a compass and information about that. Now one really nice thing, which I'm assuming is gonna be a standard feature in the future, uh, the Apple CarPlay Android Auto will give you navigation when you plug your phone in. That's actually gonna take over that screen. It'll turn into your phone screen. Now on the Mazda Infotainment Center, I wanna go over, cause I, I really enjoy the redesign on this. It's very simple, very easy to control especially while you're driving. You don't want something to distract you with too many bells and whistles. So the menu is very, very simple. Uh, and as I said before, it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So your phone screen will actually take over the screen if you prefer that. But the Mazda system is very easy to use. Now the wheel down here, when you turn that left and right, that actually gives you the up down control. When you press the, the wheel here, you'll actually press enter. There's a back button on the bottom left. So as you can see, fuel efficiency, entertainment is going to be all of your radio, XM radio, music, communication is going to be all about your phone. So text messages, contacts, they're all going to be located here if you want to read that on the road. Mazda roadside assistance as well is located there. So navigation, as I said before, this one does need an SD card for the internal navigation. But if you use your phone for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it'll use that navigation built right in. Now settings is gonna be the majority of the things you'll set up when you first get in the vehicle. So displays for brightness, sound settings for your radio, safety settings is actually a big one. You can adjust to how those driver's assistance packages actually work, whether alerts are louder, softer, whether you want the steering wheel to vibrate when your lane assist kicks in, or do you prefer an audible noise? Especially how fast those things are gonna react. You can start turn the sensitivity levels up or down if you prefer. Vehicle settings as far as door locks, lighting, when they turn on and off. One thing nice about Mazda is gonna be rain sensing wipers, so you don't have to worry about that. Connectivity is gonna be obviously adjusting your phones. And then last but not least, your overall settings. So whether it be software updates, whether it be languages, voice recognition, you can change everything on the system here. And that's the majority of what you'll see. Like I said, they keep it very simple. They want you to really enjoy the driving experience. So that's your infotainment center. Now, other things in the car, plenty of room up front. And here's a better look at that passenger seat. And then in the back of the vehicle, plenty of room, cup holders back there. And then of course your sunroof, which is one touch. You and that's going to be your Mazda 3. So if you have any questions, please, please comment in below or message me and I can answer pretty much anything about the vehicle. Always willing to help out. The Mazda 3 is a really, really, really nice vehicle. There's a really good look of the front area. And that's going to be your 2021 Mazda 3. So some of the features that we didn't go over, your engine. So this one's going to have a 2.5 liter four cylinder, 186 horsepower with 186 foot pounds of torque, disc brakes all around. And then it has a six speed automatic transmission with a sport mode. Some of the really big important things with Mazda that I typically go over in the store, just because we try to keep the videos as short as possible, there's going to be things like Kodo design and how that relates to the vehicle and how it's made. But we're looking at your sky active technologies in terms of efficiency and safety. So that'll be the experience you get when you come into the store. We like to go over everything, why Mazda is the way they are, why they're at the top of the consumer reports. So if you need to get a hold of me or if anybody has any questions about Mazda in general or Mercedes, we do both you can reach me here or again like as i said before any of the social media platforms at bmc victor for bourbon a motor cars if you have any questions let me know i'm happy to do these videos for any customer that requests them have a great day i hope everybody has a happy holiday and a merry christmas i will get back with you next time see you later